Hello everyone, Yuki from Anthropology, and today I'm going to show you how you can import and export files and share with you some of the best practices. I'll talk about importing. What can you import in Anthropology? Well, you can import CAD geometry, mesh geometry, finite element data, lattice structure, point data, voxel slices, and a bitmap. So let me show you some of the ways on how you can import when you're using Anthropology. So with your Anthropology open in the search block located at the top left, you can type import and you'll find all of the different file types you can import. You can then select the file type you want to import, select that file path to then bring it into Anthropology. Another method you can do, you can press Ctrl I on the keyboard and it'll open up your files and it'll show you all of the compatible files you can import. Another neat method, you can open up your files. You can simply just drag the file onto Anthropology and it'll import that part. Simple as that. So now some of the best practices you should know when importing some parts. Um, if you're importing some CAD geometry, it is recommended you convert it right away to an implicit body because that is Anthropology's native format and you will have more control of your geometry, especially when you're working with lattices, uh, shelling, surface texturing, and more. Uh, when you're importing meshes or maybe some scan data, convert your mesh to an implicit body using the implicit body from mesh block and drag your mesh import to the input of that block to create your implicit body. Lastly, another thing when you're using importing simulation data, find a block that correlates to the data type from the search blocks and select the file path to import that data. Change your units and your simulation data will appear. So now since we covered importing, let's cover exporting. We can export the same thing that we can import, but we are limited to certain file types when exporting. With your anthropology open in the search block section, you can type export and you'll find all of the different file types you can export. Here's some examples of how you can export your parts out. You can convert all of your implicit bodies using our mesh for implicit body by voxel block. And once it meshes, you can export that mesh out. If you print using slices, you can slice directly in NTOP and directly export those slices to your 3D printer. Now, if you want to export some simulation data, we can export the surface mesh, volume mesh, or even a complete FE model with node sets for your boundary conditions. And lastly, for less complex geometry, we can convert a mesh to a CAD file, either as a parasol, stuff, or an IGS file. If you want to learn more about specific file types you can import and export in Anthropology, go to our support page, support.anthropology.com, search for import and export, and click on the what file types can Anthropology import and export. It'll give you a whole rundown of all the file types, file extensions, and versions you can import and export in Anthropology. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you learned something new today.